This house, it is a house of consequence. It's proud of itself and it's a little bit verklempt that it's been forgotten and dismissed as an old wreck sitting on a hill. I think that the best thing for the future of this house is that it should be um, loved as a part of the community as it, as it once was when it was first built. It used to stand here, big proud sentinel on Front Street watching commerce go by and, and the territory being built. It's just been waiting instead of being a private residence, uh, being a, a real community center where we can really reconnect to our founding era here, our version of Plymouth or Jamestown, but when the first settlers came into the Puget Sound region, this is where they planted. And we're really fortunate to have these old houses still surviving. They don't survive in these numbers and this density anywhere else in the Northwest, maybe even on the West Coast uh, from the 1850s and 1860s. So this house, um, remarkably intact, remarkably unchanged, over the whole 20th century um, is a great theater. It's a living theater. And when you step over the threshold, we want people to be able to step into the 1860s, the 1850s, and really experience what those early days were like. The urgent need is that the house is currently owned um, by a family in the community. Um, it is a burden when they originally bought it. I, I, there were hopes of, of uh, helping it out, um, but the recession intervened and uh, it's been, it's been a, a heavy weight for them to carry. They need to get rid of it and they need to have it taken off their hands. They would like to have it taken off their hands by somebody who was sympathetic to its historical value. We've been trying to do that for a few years, but uh, historic preservation is maybe not the, the top of everyone's list of philanthropic necessities. And so it's been, it's been difficult to raise the amount of money that will help them get out from under the house. We're trying to qualify for a state preservation grant, and this is offered every two years by the state. It's a matching grant. The state can provide, if we qualify, a third of the purchase price for the house. We have to come up with two-thirds of the purchase price at the time that we apply for the grant. The grant deadline is May 19th, and so we have to have two-thirds of the purchase price of the house raised by that date in order to apply We understand that if we are unable to meet the demands of that grant, that the house will more than likely be put on the market this summer. And at that point, what we have here is a derelict building that sits on a really great waterfront lot. So the odds of it being restored at great expense when a prospective buyer might find, a, find it more attractive to tear the house down and build something more modern and, and habitable, that's probably the more likely scenario for the house. <laughs>